YouTube, how's it going? It's definitely that time of year, no one wants to go outside, it's getting cold. I don't know if you can see it behind me, but we did get snow the last two days. As you can tell, I'm not at home, I'm away from home. And I'm trying out, I borrowed my father's camera, the Nikon D3300. I am running the, I believe this is the kit lens, the 18 to 55 millimeter that comes with the camera, I believe. Don't quote me on that. But I am looking at upgrading my video camera that I film with. This is a potential option. I'm also looking at a few others. Luckily, I lucked out and I can get hands-on experience with the Nikon D3300, opposed to going in looking at them in the store where you really can't do anything with them. But that's besides the point. In this video, I do have a computer of somebody's. I'm not going to mention any names, but it it's not working. They think they potentially have a virus issue. I haven't looked at it at all yet. All I just have it plugged into Hydro, so let's go ahead. Let's take a look at it and see where that takes us and what comes of it. So this is going to be the first time booting the system up. Well, let's see what it's going to do. So as you can see, normally it should have already booted. It seems to be having a hard time possibly with the hard drive. So let's go ahead and look at the drive next. So I did borrow this from work. It's a USB, it's from a USB 3.0 external drive enclosure for two and a half inch drives. So like I said, it's USB 3 to SATA. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook this to my laptop and just check the status of the drive and see where it's at. So let's go ahead and we'll just zip on over to my laptop. Well, it looks as if the drive might be no good because I'm having, like I can't access the drive. I can hear a faint clicking from the drive which indicates possible drive failure. It doesn't mean it's failing, but so far from what we've seen, the machine won't boot to the drive. The machine does detect that the drive there is something there but I'm not able to boot from it I'm not able to access it through my laptop so I'm thinking this drive might be no good and when I try to even check the health it just keeps saying not responding when I try and rescan to detect the new drive. And if you don't know what program I'm using, I'm using Crystal Disk Info, also known as CDI X64. So it's not detecting anything, so I think at this point it is a safe bet to say this drive is toast and this person needs a new hard drive. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and let them know, and they can go get me a new drive, or they can give me the money, and I can go get a new drive, whichever they prefer. And then if they go ahead and have a new drive installed, there's potentially video coming, likely, you know, maybe just a time lapse of getting Windows and all the drivers installed. So there's not much more... I can do on this one. I got to get a hold of the person, like I said, blah, 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 we'll go from there. And maybe there will be part two to this video. Who knows? So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope maybe this helped you in somehow with an issue that you're having with your machine. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, hit the like button, as well as be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as follow me on Twitter, Instagram, as well as like the Facebook page to stay up to date as the Facebook page is where I'll post anything there. So anyone that follows me there will know about it before 
the video itself goes live on YouTube. So, thanks again for watching, and stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one.